Hey, there's Tim and Sean. I don't know if you guys can see them. It's John Baker. I'm back with Fat Guy Golf. It is the return to Shale Creek. If you're not familiar, I'll post a link to that video. My first 89 ever was at Shale Creek. Big gray shirt. I was probably 500. Tim, I was probably 550 at that time, right? I was big. I was real big. But uh, it was like 90 degrees. I was, <laughs> I was soaked. And I shot an 89. I am now probably the lowest weight I've ever golfed at in 15 years. I'm 463 today. So in two years, I've lost 89, 81 pounds. Yeah. So Fat Guy Golf, the return to Shale Creek. Let's see what happens. No ball tracer today. Uh, wanted to get the video uploaded, and frankly, I just didn't have the time. So we'll do it this way. First hole at Shale, 316-yard par 4. I hit my drive about 219. I hit it high and uh, popped it up a little bit. But it ended up being fine because we had the wind behind us and the wind was really gusting. So I got 76 in. Just got to hit a nice little wedge. And I do. And hopefully we can see it uh, land on the green here. Thank you. All right. Putt for birdie. It's going to be right to left. I line it up with the line of my ball and I'm standing over it. And I feel like I got to hit it more right. So at the end, I adjust, and I say I'm going to hit it with a little bit more pace, and I hit it with a little bit more pace, which leaves me for a long putt for par. I'm thinking in my head, I know it breaks, but it can't break this close to the hole, and it breaks that close to the hole, and we end up with a bogey. Typical John Baker stuff, I know. We're all used to it. So we're one over going to number two, and I'll let you guys listen in. I got 154 to a hole, and I'm going to hit a seven iron instead of a four hybrid. Yeah. Yeah. I'm hitting an eight. I'm actually gonna hit a seven iron. I'm all I'm all nervous. <laughs> it's like real golf, John. Last time I played, I just kept blowing them over the hole, and I was like, "What the fuck?" That's true. You were. So let's see if I uh, if I have to commit to it, I might get it. There, you know. John plays real golf now. He hit a seven iron and hit the green from 155. That's awesome. Is it fun hitting seven iron? I got to hit a seven iron in front of 154 hole. I've never. That was my 125 club three years ago. Wait, I'm hitting a seven. What is happening? Yeah. And you hit it to fucking 10 feet? Yeah, I hit it to 10 feet, I think. John Baker for birdie. Oh, oh just scoots by on the left side. That's All right, I thought you guys might enjoy that a little bit. So here's my putt for par. Real easy putt. Thank God. All right, so we're one over going to number three. We go on bogey par. We have a 496 yard par five. The guy, the house back there, was actually a fan of mine and uh, came out and talked to us. And you can actually go to the Instagram at, uh, at the Fat Guy Golf and you can see some of the videos uploaded from our conversation. But a uh, pretty cool guy with a pool and a tiki hut back there. I hit my drive to the left. It bounces off a hill. It leads to a little bit of trouble. By a little bit, I mean a lot. Thank God I wasn't OB. I walked around for about five minutes. Do you want me to move it when you hit it or just leave it? So. You can show the hole, I guess, yeah. Okay. I'm telling Sean here, I have no idea how I'm gonna get out of this. So I think I grabbed an eight iron. Cause I think water was like 160 away to the right. And I actually hit a good shot. It bounces right up over the car. Oh, fairway. The bunker there. Really good shot out of there. Wow, I gotta mess up my knee a little bit here. Good shot, big man. Oh, my knee. All right, so this shot, we got 162 in. I grab a five iron. I'm like, you know what, I just, 155 I played the seven so let's see and hopefully we see this bounce right up on the green it's incredible it's a great feeling three for three in greens and regulation so long putt for birdie it's uphill it's gonna go left to right I knew all this all the way but I kept blowing putts by 
So I watch my pace a little bit, and I really, as you can see, it ain't going to get there. So I really undersell it. And then I set myself up for another long par putt. So the left to right break, I felt it the whole way. It was left to right all the way up the hill. So I play this. I think I play it a ball to the left. Let's see if we can get this to drop. Absolutely not. Why would we even bother? All right, pick it up, bogey time. Going to number four, two over. So the the, the pace to beat uh, Shale Creek's 89 is on pace. So we hit our drive here, and uh, it hops into a bunker. <laughs> Me and Tim have a laugh about it. Bunker shot. I think I got like 180 to the hole. I'm, I'm not going to get there. I'm trying to hit an iron just to get it up as far as I can. The ball's a little bit above my feet, and that's what happens. I catch way too much dirt. All right, so we just get to recover, right? That's all we got to do. Just recover. Third shot, 119 into the wind. I think I'm hitting an 8-iron or a 9-iron. I'm not I don't remember which one. Hopefully we see it land, it land up there on the right side in front of the green. Should be right there. Now, this was a nasty pitch shot. It's downhill, right to left, and I feel like if I bounce it right there, it was going to roll all the way down to the hole. And I just couldn't believe it didn't release. So now i got to stand over this putt, and I'm like, this is just, it's not going to stop. Like, what am I going to... Oh, okay, and it stops. Don't understand how it stopped, but it stopped. So, super pissed at this point. That's a double bogey. Now we're back to the typical John Bo John Baker golf. So we go to number five, 160 yard par three. I'm five over, and I'm like, I, I'm so confident standing over this. I'm like, this is a pin seeker shot, and straight to the right in the woods. <laughs> There's like brush over there. So I have like a five minute video of me walking around in the woods trying to find it. I was trying to put well, it on here and fast forward it, uh, but shot. it didn't happen. So I had to go back to the tee box. I dropped two. I, well, I re -tee. I hit number three. I wonder if that's the right move. I wonder if I have to drop it there or I'm not sure. Lost ball, I know you have to play from previous shots, so I think I can tee it up. I almost hit Sean here on the green, and it bounces into the bunker. Right at Sean as he's standing on the green. That was fun. So bunker shot. This could go really bad, right? It's me. All I keep thinking is swing hard and catch dirt. It works out okay. It's literally two feet away from rolling up to the pin. And I don't know if I was just tired of walking around for 10 minutes and the brush and all that stuff and going back to the hole, but I got real lazy there and hit a bad putt. Got to put this in. That was a save, a triple bogey. So we went from five over to eight over. So we're going to number six, a 444-yard par four. I'm eight over. I hit this as hard as I can. I have to mute it out a little bit because I'm going to swear here. Yeah. After all that walking and that hill on number three, my knee was just killing me. So I hit a good drive. It was 219. I got like 220 into the hole. I'm trying to smash a three wood and I bank it off that tree and it falls right into the water right into the water you know 444 yard par four i just don't think you know normal me can't get to it in two so i'm just like especially against the wind so i take my drop i hit an old style john baker iron wedge and leave it high into the right this should have been a lot easier of a pitch shot um i don't know why i carried it so far i think i was just scared to like fluff underneath it and only hit it five feet. Wasn't my best pitch shot. I, I could have done a lot better on that. Great job, John. Let's not have the speed down at all. I got there 45 minutes before the round started, and I putted for about a half hour. So I tried, okay? Another drive. I tried to hit it too hard because it's, you know, number seven. It's a 419-yard par four, just a little bit too long for me. You know, my drives only go 220, 230 max. That's a tough thing for me. My three wood only goes 205, 210. So when you get a driver three wood on every par four, it makes it a little tough. 
I just don't have enough distance yet. I imagine I lose another 50 pounds. I'll probably get another 15 yards. Try to take driver off the deck here to keep it under trees, and I almost do. It just catches a branch and falls right down. And now I got to get over these trees. So I hit like a nine iron. I can't get to the green. So it all kind of spirals here. So we're like plus 12 coming into here. We get on there, we make it in two. And then you're going to see uh, that's about it. And I'll explain why. Hey guys, I know you didn't expect to see me so soon, especially after only th seven and a half holes. Camera phone that I filmed on for the last four years died on me. It didn't die on me. The battery was at 99 because I have a battery pack. I have a whole system set up so the battery didn't die. It seemed to get overheated where the battery might be old and the processor just couldn't handle it. I was filming in 4K to try to make it as high def as possible. It all kind of blew up in my face. So I filmed the next two, three holes without even realizing the camera wasn't working. And uh, it is what it is. So there's seven and a half holes. I went on to shoot a 101. So I'm skinnier, but I'm much worse at golf than I was three years ago. So I don't know how. Um, weight update. I started at the beginning of this year at 5.05. I'm down to 4. 55 today. I was 463 when I filmed. Diet's going good. I got a cortisone shot on the right knee. I'm gonna get a cortisone shot on the left knee. Plan is that that lasts me a couple months while I can keep dropping weight. So maybe when the weight's off, cortisone wears off, maybe the knees just feel better all of a sudden. But this will at least allow me to work out again and uh, get back to where I need to be. So in the video, you're gonna see like me grab my knee a bunch, but the knee's feeling a lot better today because I got drugs in it so all right follow me on instagram at the fat guy golf follow me on tiktok at john baker 2575 and i'll see you guys soon bye